Hello, how are you doing? My name is Sidi, and here is a little series on Java programming. But before we start programming, there are some tools you should know about. One is Eclipse IDE. It's the most popular IDE for programming in Java. There's also IntelliJ IDE. There's a free version, there's also a paid version. But to follow on with these tutorials, the free version will be enough. You can also use Visual Studio Code. Um, you can also use Sublime, you can use Atom, you can use whatever you like. You can even use Vim or Emacs if you like. So after that, go ahead and create a folder where you have your first Java file. I named the class, I named the file first.java. Make sure the class is capitalized. Because in Java, the classes must be capitalized. Also, the class name might, must match the file name. So, class first. If I do first, if I run small f, it's going to throw an error. So, first. Now, this is just the class name. We need like something called a main method, which will run the actual program. So, to do the main method, public static. Right main inside you have string right. this is just so that it takes a string of arguments but every java program has this so and if you are using IntelliJ or Eclipse once you create a java file this will be there all of this will be there so to print in java it's long but it's very simple and straightforward you type system dot out dot current line and um, what do I want to print? I can print anything yeah so that's all I've installed a program uh, I've installed a plugin on my Visual Studio code that runs it but let's say you want to run it through the terminal what do you do? so first Check if you're in the right directory. Yeah, I'm in the right directory with the file and the folders. What we first need to do is we need to con compile the first.java to binary, which the computer will be able to read. So to do that, we type Java C, then first.java. This will compile. Okay, let me delete it here. So when it compiles, you know it compiles. So I'm going to run it again, first just Java. Now you see the class file is here. That means it has compiled everything to binary, which the machine can read. So now to run that, Java, then first that just first, now it prints anything. So that's simple. So next we're going to do loops, your statements, the different data attributes like strings. We have a string here, integers, arrays. We'll do all that in the next video. See you.